Are you ready? Oh my god. If my nails got sucked up in this thing, I ain't never coming back down to earth. Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. And today I'm going to be testing out some of the lowest rated nail polish and nail care products on Amazon. Menchie, are you gonna, Menchie, she's gonna fall. Menchie, be careful. There you go, safety first. My cat's a risk taker and so am I. Sometimes we need to be reminded of how bad things are so we can appreciate the good things in life. Now I should note that it wasn't easy to find the lowest rated products on Amazon because the results are filtered by featured, whatever that means. So you can sort by average customer rating, but when I do that, I still get like hundreds of thousands of results. So I can't possibly get to the last page on that kind of search. Not only did I try and waste my time doing that, but I, it wouldn't even let me get to the end. So I had to get a little creative with my methodology for this very important research project. On amazon.ca, because Canadian. I filtered for things available on Amazon Prime, sorted by lowest price, and then browsed seven pages of results looking for the lowest rated products with at least one review. Also, and I probably don't have to say this, but this video is not sponsored by Amazon. I'm not getting any of that Jeff Bezos money. Although I should mention that I have been an Amazon affiliate since around 2015, and I do have a page of my favorite things on Amazon. I am an Amazon influencer. <laughs> I would rate the items on my page five stars. <laughs> So if you want to shop my Simply Amazon Favorites page, I put the link down below. So yeah, Amazon isn't paying me in particular to make this video, but I do make commission on some of the items that I link to that are from Amazon. Also, something I noticed during my research, when I search Simply Nailogical or Hollow Taco in the search bar on Amazon, I get a bunch of other nail polish companies and products that are not mine. <laughs> It's as if other nail polish companies are using my name as a search engine optimization keyword. I'm on to you. I know who you are. And it is honestly the worst offense when the item isn't even hollow. Mm -mm. So I've ordered a bunch of the worst rated products on Amazon and I'm gonna give you my review. I know it's possible that I might have some bias because I do own my own nail polish line, Holo Taco, but I'm gonna try my best to be simply objective. And just because these products have terrible reviews doesn't mean they're gonna be terrible. Although, like, chances are they will be, but. <laughs> Before I paint my nails with some of the worst nail polish on Amazon, I have to file my nails but that can make a mess with a lot of dust. So I got this two-in-one nail dust collector, rated two stars. Professional strong power nail art dust suction collector vacuum cleaner with square tray. Noise decibels, 45 decibels. Is that, is that loud? Quality material, the strength is big. Let's take a look at the reviews. Ryan says, not good. This product is very loud. I cannot hear myself talk, nor can my client. <laughs> Hello, is anyone in there? Hello? Ah, I can hear the ocean. Oh, it's like a slinky. <laughs> First, I'm gonna have to get naked. We're gonna have to peel off our nails. So I'm just oiling them up. And we peeling them off because I'm wearing a peel off base coat. I actually tried to look for a peel off base coat on Amazon, but the only one there was would have taken four months to get here. And we ain't gonna wait that long. Also, I think it's probably delayed because of the coronavirus, so. All right, just gotta do a bit of cleanup. All clean. Okay, let's make some dust. I love making a mess. This is gonna make a lot of people cringe, isn't it? My nails are getting a little long, so I really do need to file them. Aside from being too long, my nails are just looking generally really rough because I've been swatching for a new collection for the past week and a half. And my nails are tired of going to work every day. They're looking a little raw, you know what I mean? They need a vacation. Okay, I think we've made a sufficient amount of dust. Let's try this thing. <gasps> there's lights, there's lights on it. Wow. <laughs> First, let's try and suck up the dust that I left on the table. Now for the real 
real test. Well, I mean, it worked. It sucked up the dust and it didn't, you know, take away my nails. I just don't know how necessary this is unless maybe you work with acrylics and you're really drilling and like creating a ton of dust that I can kind of see, but just for the average consumer. I mean, like this is a little extra, don't you think? <laughs> ah. If this was $60, I would agree. Yes, that would be like a huge waste of money, but it was only 15 bucks, which isn't that bad. I mean, what do you expect for 15 bucks? <laughs> I wonder if I could use this to suck up cat hair. It works! Meche! <laughs> All right, $15 well spent. Okay, what's next? Now let's see what nail polish I have to work with. CND Vinylux Creative Play nail polish in shade bananas for you. <laughs> Obviously I had to get that one for bam. So this got 2.7 out of five stars, although there's only three customer ratings. So the sample size is small. <laughs> that was the struggle in making this video. Honestly, there wasn't many products that had low ratings and a high number of customer reviews. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like Amazon is hiding those. <laughs> Anyways, what makes this banana polish so bad? Looks great. Last long if you don't put your hands in water a lot. Well, like any regular nail polish won't last that long if you're constantly putting your nails in water. It's just because nail lacquer is naturally gonna get broken up by water, unless it's gel or shellac or some kind of hard product like that. Not bananas. Wait, what? <laughs> I ordered bananas for you and it was an off-white color. I was looking for a pale yellow banana-like color. Definitely not the color I expected. I mean, I guess she's right. Like this isn't, this is not the color of bananas. <laughs> I'd say it's more like a nude polish, but let's paint it on and see what we think. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the base coat since we didn't get one of those off Amazon. <laughs> Let's do a second coat. And I'm gonna need three coats for this one. <laughs> Let's try and fix this. All right, so that's three coats. In terms of performance or application, I wouldn't say this is necessarily the worst nail polish on Amazon. But as for the name, I don't get bananas from this. I get like nude underwear, like Kim K skims. <laughs> All right, next we've got Morgan Taylor, look at you, pink at you. Pink, pink at you? Like Pikachu? Okay. $18, wow, that's expensive for a pink creme. Finely milled. I've never heard that term used to describe nail polish. When I think finely milled, I think of like, quinoa or grains. A customer 11 says, awful polish. Can't get the polish to look good even after three coats. So disappointed. Terrible, terrible nail polish was watery and streaky. I had to return it. I don't really expect any nail polish color to be one coat except one coat black. <laughs> but it is really hard to make a nail polish color like pink one coat without making it too thick and just basically unusable. Oh, it's got one of those super wide brushes. I don't like wide brushes. <laughs> I wouldn't say that this is watery or, or too streaky at all. What are you talking about, Catherine? Maybe it's, I wouldn't pay $18 for a pink creme. <laughs> Although I did just pay $18 for a pink creme, didn't I? Yes, I did. Is it G time? Man! Do you like my banana nail polish? It doesn't look very yellow. That's what I said. I'm gonna write my review on Amazon now. <laughs> okay, okay, Karen. <laughs> Karen, Karen, the polish isn't yellow. All right, let's do a second coat. It's not so bad, Karen. Although one thing to point out is maybe I just got one of their good batches and uh, Karen or what, what was her name? <laughs> Catherine over here got a bad batch because that's possible, right? Nail polish is made in batches. Sometimes they just don't end up as good as others. That's why you need good quality control. This is something I've had to learn recently with Holo Taco. So we do quality control on our polishes and sometimes we find between 0.2 and 1% of a batch 
might just be shit. So we just have to dispose of those ones. You know, the hope is though that you quality control it and you don't sell it to customers. Then I decided it would be fun to get this lot of five Sally Hansen triple shine fingernail polish color lacquer, all different colors, no repeats. So basically, even though there's more than a dozen nail polishes in the description, you get a random selection of five of these for $50. That's not a good deal at all, is it? <laughs> Sometimes shopping for makeup can be a bit overwhelming. With so many options, it's hard to choose what to buy. So why not let someone else choose for you? This amazing deal gets you 10 pieces of nail, 10 or five? <laughs> we'll choose the colors at random, so you won't know what colors you're getting until you actually open the box. You don't know what you're buying. Isn't that amazing? So it's basically a mystery box of Sally Hansen polishes from a third party Amazon seller. Personally, I'm not really a fan of the mystery box approach. I like to know as a consumer what I'm purchasing, what I'm paying for, but instead we're gonna find out together what exactly I've paid $50 for. <laughs> so although the five polishes you end up with presumably varies by customer, the average rating of this lot of five thing was 2.6 out of five stars. So there were a lot of unhappy people. 38% rated it one star. Oh, will I be in that category? Let's find out. And I ended up with orange, pink, a muted green, a glittery mint green, and a, a top coat. A top coat is, what, what? I thought I was buying five nail polishes, not a taco. Let's take a look at the reviews. I got three ugly green and two pinkish polishes. They don't want to refund my money. Don't buy this product. Hey, I got two green polishes and one pink. Very bad quality, I wish I can return it. I think that's this one. <laughs> Very mad and unsatisfied. Me, every time it snows. And they won't let me return the items. The colors I received were duplicates and outdated colors. What's an outdated color? Just like not in style anymore? I understand the duplicate complaint though. That's not cool. Never, never, ever buy this product. I got five colors and they are all very ugly. <laughs> Three of the colors don't even work. Never buy this. Okay, so it sounds like more than one review is saying that they got translucent colors that don't work, but I guess maybe the polish was just intended to be a jelly polish, which is kind of see-through. And then the other complaint is that people got some duplicates or just ugly colors. I don't have any duplicates. I do have two greens though. So it sounds like they wanted to get rid of greens and pinks and probably top coats. <laughs> so let's just put Sally to the test, shall we? It's a giant brush as wide as my nail. <laughs> All right, so is this the ugly green that the reviews were referring to? <laughs> Maybe, I mean, taste and color is subjective. I'm not really a fan of this shade of green, but maybe someone is. And on the thumb, let's go with the orange shade, Play Koi. All right, that one's not bad. That applied fine, definitely not translucent. I guess I got kind of lucky I didn't get these sheer shades that people are referring to that have no color. Let's try this glittery one though. No, it's not hollow, it's just glitter. <laughs> I guess we're gonna need a few coats of that one. I am not exactly a fan though. So far, this is four coats of the glitter and I still don't have full coverage. Overall, I don't think I have the same experience as some of the negative reviews, but I will say just independently, these aren't my favorite nail polishes. <laughs> Actually, this green one is weird in the bottle. Even though I shook it with my hands, it's still kind of separating, <laughs> which is good because now we can test out this other low rated Amazon product, the nail lacquer shaker, because I need a personal assistant to shake my nail polish, please. Doing a nail polish shaker, lacquers shaker, time saving and energy saving. Whose energy? Like your own body energy? <laughs> Zero fatigue, hands-free shaking. That's what I want. A robot to shake my nail polish for me. Although I have had a robot paint my nails once and that didn't go too well. Stop! Don't know if we can trust robots with our nails yet. <laughs> Do you strap in your nail polish like this? We're just gonna strap you in. We're gonna take you for a little ride. You're gonna ride, Sally ride. 
That was too good of a coincidence. All right, before we send this nail polish to lift off, let's check the reviews. 2.6 out of five stars. Jeanster says, returning, not working with cord nor batteries. Very disappoint batteries, what? <laughs> I thought you just plug it in. Put fresh batteries in unit and doesn't work well. Isn't as powerful as using the AC adapter and plugging in, very cheaply made. So I've got the AC adapter plugged in, no batteries. Eddie, stand back. Stand back, other Sally's. Okay, okay, I'm getting a migraine. I mean, it shakes, it works, but... But is there a point to this? How much should I pay for this again? $40! <laughs> That'd be a great way to make money on the side, you know? I'm gonna shake your bottle of polish, baby. 40 bucks. I'm trying to think of scenarios or situations where this might actually be useful, like in a salon or someone who has to shake nail polish all day long. I just don't see the average consumer, like someone who would buy this on Amazon, needing to spend $40 to shake their nail polish. And maybe I just got lucky because mine actually works. It sounds like, according to the reviews, some people got some duds. And now we're gonna need to finish off this manicure with a taco. And so I found this unicorn nail polish topper, <laughs> painted on in layers for added sparkle. Fun and adventurous to wear alone or over a solid color. Y'all know I love me some tacos, some different kinds of nail polish toppers. And I saw a unicorn topper and I was like sold, even though it was $43. <laughs> what? Ben is currently getting angry upstairs over these business expenses. <laughs> All right, let's check the reviews. 3.8 out of five. SH Mom says, waste of money. <laughs> super hard to get the glitter to stick to the brush and apply on nails. My daughter was super disappointed with this polish. Come out like a clear polish. Just by looking at it, I mean, it is a clear base, so it would come out like a clear polish, presumably with just little bits of confetti. Pamela says, my unicorn came with his horn broken off. It was part of a gift for my granddaughter. She pulled it out of the bag and said, his horn is broken off. <laughs> Thanks a lot, $10 and no horn. <laughs> she sounds like she's writing an angry letter to the city. Wow. <laughs> I think I got Three glitters on my nail. <laughs> this is a confetti nail polish, not a unicorn sparkle nail polish. I don't expect much of these anyways. They're just little pieces of colored plastic that are pretty dispersed in a clear base. And yeah, it's generally not that concentrated of a formula. You know, when I think of a unicorn topper, I think of something shifty, something magical. <laughs> Someone should come out with that. All right. We're all done. Thank you, Amazon, for such a, a wonderful manicure. Do I hear a Menchie? Five star treats, five star treats. What if I turn this on? Do you think she'll freak out? What is that? <laughs> I forgot to strap it in. I always wonder about the people who leave reviews on Amazon. I feel like as a customer, it's a good thing to contribute to the world if you just, you know, leave reviews on things you've purchased so that we all can benefit from it and get a better idea of whether or not others should buy something or not. I say that, but at the same time, I'm not very good at leaving reviews. So I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> reviews help others, even if they're written by Pamela's. So in conclusion. <laughs> Jeez, you mad bro? <laughs> Can you trust a review on Amazon? I don't know. I mean, maybe. I think if something has a lot of bad reviews, that's definitely a bad sign. But if it only has one or two, maybe that's just the case of a couple Karens who like to complain. And on the other hand, the other hand. <laughs> I don't know if you can necessarily trust top rated products either. Sometimes it seems like, hello? Sometimes on Amazon, it seems like their top results are just driven by what they want to promote and sell or where they have the highest profit margin. It's almost like they're putting their own private label products first. Don't think anything I bought today was Amazon brand, but who knows, maybe they're coming for me. What if there's an Amazon line of nail polish? <laughs> Delivered and dries in 24 hours with Amazon Prime nail polish. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed today's episode of Christine Wastes Her Money. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.